So this is a um, a grant, a grant one, a battle rating two point seven, and um, oh, sorry about my voice. Um, I think I'm losing it. So today might be the last video for the year. Just kidding. I will. I if my if my voice is gone, I will have Laura come in here and voice the videos for you. Don't worry, okay? I'll always be here for you guys. Um, this. I've never played this before because it's kind of like the M3 Lee. I mean, it's very close to the M3 Lee, except it has a better turret, like a, a much better turret. Like, okay, good luck trying to pen this at 2.7. Now, if we get a 3.3, yeah, we're goodbye, but compared to the American counterpart, so 50 millimeters here, and then we go to the British Grant, 76 in angle of 44 degrees. This is pretty hard to pen for people at 2.7. It's just really, really ugly. But I'm telling you, the Grants and the M3 Lees work extremely well at 2.7. I mean, one, I mean, first of all, they are easy to kill from a side shot or just if someone hits right underneath here or right there. But we're, we're talking about a 37 millimeter that can't penetrate as much as it used to. 87 millimeter. I think this, I mean, actually, this one's still pretty strong. Uh, but this is where the money's at. The M61 shot at 2.7 that has 63 grams of explosive or TNT in it, which pretty much eviscerates any small vehicle trying to peck at you. And so they, you know, kill this guy over here, this gunner, if you will. You still have this guy up here. You have so many crew members. You have six in here. So sometimes, so let's say 30% of the time, someone will shoot you and one gunner will still be operational to engage him. So your survival rate, because you have a lot of crew, is so you can kill him, is high. Now, if you guys have a second, I would love to hear some feedback on this. Uh, but this holiday season, I'm trying to kind of encapsulate a War Thunder, what's the word? Not a diorama, but a, a scene. A scene from War Thunder that could be tied into an ugly sweater design that we could put on. Well, a sweater, a blanket, uh, a mug, or a phone case, or something like that. Um, just throwing out my ideas. We have, you know, a Christmas tree with, you know, a, a PO2 or automatic shooting snowballs and um, a Storm Panzer launching, you know, firing a huge snowball. Kind of like that idea. And I was um, wanting to know if anyone had ideas of their own that we could incorporate into this design. So let me know. Comments below. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. Now, the Grant is premium. It is. It is better than the M3. It is. But I'm telling you, if you... This is it. If you want to try out what I'm doing today, go grab the M3 Lee. Now, you might get penned more, but you're going to have almost the same amount a fun. Oh, and also the Grant has smoke. Individual smoke. I think it launches from right here. I think so. But that's crucial. And what smoking does... Now for the YouTube bots. Um, what smoking does in a video game... Um, it creates a lot of commotion. It gets the enemy closer to you. And with having two guns and them having one... Um, yeah, you know the rest of the story. I gotta say, compared to a lot of multi-turret system, multi-weapon system, I think I'm most comfortable with using this gun at a medium um, to longest range. Enemy in front, sounds like a Panzer 4F2. He's behind a bush, I think, or he's behind... Oh, there he is. Okay, main gun. Oof. Let's push on. We're going to try to see if we can't uh, overlook Charlie a little bit here. Someone is here with us. No, I, I, no, I don't know how crazy we, we want to get right now. But we could just turn to the left and have a field day. Still not our cap. 
Let's take care of A first, then we'll look at Charlie. Now, to our right, we have a Crusader helping us out. Friendly. I don't know if you see him on the mini-map. Now, this is a pretty cliche location, so someone's probably looking here. Okay, we're starting to get Charlie. I can hear the British transmission to my right. I could die left here. I don't like this one bit. We're going to load a smoke round. And a potential another one. Enemy something bomber looks like a, a HS129er. Okay, we're moving out. I think there's a Puma here. Okay, so I think we have Charlie. Charlie's good and secured. We're almost at their spawn. I really need to find out that where this guy is in Alpha. And I think I have an idea. Got to be careful of the Bravo area. Oh, huh, that's weird. I didn't expect this to be here. Isn't it nice? That's not the guy at Brav or Alpha, right? That wasn't the guy defending the whole time. He, it, it quite as well could be. Hang on, let's just double check here. We'll pop a smoke and get into the cap so we can get some cover from Bravo. No, it wasn't. There's still someone in here. I got tracks. I got a feeling on the, he's right here. Okay, I mean, we're, we're still good to go. Maybe we can fire some shots into Bravo. I could get killed from the rear. I think it's just a Puma running around, honestly. What's this? Oh, Lord. Oh, that was not a good shot. That was a... Thank God. Could be... Oh, 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 it was a Puma. I don't know if he's here. Yeah, okay, there we go. So there was a Puma in here all along. Oh, a Panzer IV F2. Oh, this would be a cheeky main gun. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need a little more, um, a little more oomph on it. But look at that reload. Okay, Panzer IV F2 is dead. I'm just about to finish the capture alpha. And time to push. Oh, come on. That was a... Sw oh, oh, that was a nifty shot. Now, this guy can eviscerate me if he wants to with that 76 millimeter. We're going to pop some smoke and re-engage from a different location. If I was an M10, where would I go to hide? Right there. Wow, we were right on target, too. Enemy might be in front of me, too. No one to the left. Now, I don't think I'll have enough time to make it over to Charlie to take a look. But that's where a lot of them just went to. Excuse me about my voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is what happens. When someone says their kid's not contagious, they're contagious. Yeah, not contagious to you. Yeah, that's going to be a good game. It's going to be a good game. The, the really cool combo with this kind of setup is that the 37 millimeter... Is like the penetrator. Like, oh no, I need to penetrate that. That's the gun you use. But the 75 millimeter, just it's it's very nice because it keeps your sound profile low. Hey, you'll never kill me. Oh my god, I should be dead. <laughs> That's a great target to go after, by the way, if you're a duck. Is a uh, Lee very easy to penetrate? Your round likes to go boom, boom, boom. Oh, I got my 37 mm. Oh, wait. Oh, dude, I cannot kill this guy. Just kidding. Oh, look at that. Either we missed or went right through his thingamabobber. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You lucky son of a gun, Hans. 
You lucky son of a gun. <laughs> now the best situation to use the Grant or the M3 is in a close range brute fight. Not because you have a lot of armor, but just because you have twice the guns. It really, excuse me, <clears throat> it really does well. Now A's just to our front right. We're gonna try to get in this position right there. It's gonna be kind of hard. I feel indifferent. We're gonna reverse here. We got an A capture. It's okay. We're still okay. We're still okay. We're still okay. We're still okay. T-34s beat me there. I doubt that. Out. Now, now this guy's gonna, I think, gonna try to come chase me here. Okay, thank gosh something dies. We're at a weird angle to where their forward push is at, like a, like a, they're, they're already like angled towards us or away from us. Need to save teammate. There we go. Gotta watch the front. A lot of people like this. Oh. What? His friend pushed him to death or something. Oh, lucky me. That was... That should have bounced right there. Okay, well, the, the thing is, they've, they've pushed... They've gotten alpha, but at a pretty heavy cost. And we're going to push him with the 105 Sherman... He's got some armor to bounce. Ooh, Pumas are here. Chinu, I think, is in the position where I want to be. No, not not quite yet. We're almost there. I think I want to take that position where the Chinu was at. His back, his back left. This is a good side shooting position. But it doesn't look like there's that much activity. We're going to keep following the Chinu. So this is where I wanted to be early game. Yeah, there's a fat chance of me getting here. 38 kilometers an hour top speed. No chance. Okay, now what should we do? If we go around to the right. We're kind of out in the open. There could be snipers over there. If we go to the left, I think... At least we can focus one way at a time. We do have smoke to get out there properly. We're going to load it real quick. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Just wasting ammunition types. It's okay. Am I going to hit? Okay, yep, perfect. Oh, nice. Okay, that actually worked out pretty well. Ah, oh, what a clean. Oh, tank. Tell you, the M61 shot. Hmm. So powerful. <laughs> it makes cleaning up targets so quick. Okay, we'll help defend this Churchill Mark 1. I. I don't know if he was shooting at an enemy or just a, um, a concrete post. This is where it's going to get kind of strange. They have a lot of enemy spawns left, but we have a ton of real estate in our territory that this might be a battle and a half right here on this hill. That we want to get into position early before it unfolds. I'm going to take the long way. Well, I could snipe. Guy's probably about about 900 meters. Oh, good hit. He would have died. Okay, T-34 just killed somebody. Good hit. You take out that 
breach if possible. I'm with you, dude. He won't hurt you. He won't hurt you. He's pretty much done. Nicely done. Okay, we're going to create some smoke. We got an enemy T-34 out front to the... Right here. We're going to pop it and move to the right. I don't know where he's at. I'm just going to fire. Okay, I think he went down below. Be careful, M3. Okay, let's see if he needs some help. Oh, nicely done. Okay, yep, that's game. That's game. I mean, seriously, just... Ooh. I could have some fun shooting some range here. Enemy vehicle? Far. Love that first shot did nothing. I got him, I think. Like where he's at, but this round loses so much penetration. Like at like 500 meters. Look at that. Oh, it actually doesn't. It's only. Uh oh. Is this 30? That felt like it was. I think we're gonna smoke up real quick from this side. That felt like from the spawn area, but it could be from over here. Could get rocketed here by that Chica. Enemy front. I really don't like to do this, but I don't want I don't want my teammates to die either. All right, good. Someone else. Someone. Someone did it for me. Now, where did that Zis Thirty shoot my guy from? It had to be from way over here. Oop. That's somebody. He's still spawning in. Ah, oh, there he was. Don't the Zis was right there. Oh no, he he had to have moved up. <laughs> oh, there's a, there's two of them. Oh. Ooh. Oh, come on. Let me kill this guy. Too high. Oh, there's one guy right here. A lot, a lot of this are up and about. He's got really no crew members, it seems. <laughs> All right, lower shot, lower shot, right there. Hey, loader, okay. Now, he, now you could fire it. Oh, you could have had me right there. Surprised he's not dead yet. Can't really see him with all this plane fire. There we go. We got him. Someone else is up here. We're gonna get the main gun for this guy. I just saw him. Oh, he smoked up again. We're going to fire a noodle over there. Oh, that's actually a really good trajectory there. Maybe we'll take down some trees in the meantime. There he goes. Panzer 4F2 is deceased. One of the best low-tier vehicles. And we, we didn't even play this thing whole down today. If we really wanted to, this, this 76 millimeter... There's someone right here. Now there's two. We might die here. Someone like right here. If we can go turret, that'd be better. Oh, see that one goes through. There's one guy like right behind this house. I saw him. Ooh. Now, did I die in the game or 
Was the game already over? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I couldn't tell. I don't know about you guys, but a majority of my shots are always attracted to the T-34's, like, driver hatch. Like, majority of the time, they just go there for some reason. Just like kind of how on the Tiger. I don't know if anyone has this problem um, as well, but if I can find the Tiger, here we go. <laughs> 5.3. <laughs> my shots always either hit here, here, or here. Not here. Always here. For some reason, they love this. They absolutely love it. But guys, that is the Grant. Um, it is marvelous. It cleans up so well. And it has penetration to kind of deal with any target from the front at your BR. Fellas, have a wonderful day. See you tomorrow. And uh, don't forget to leave me some ideas in the comment section below about our uh, holiday ugly sweater. Peace out, guys.